Hi everybody. This is Fred. And today, as you can probably see, I taking a coat walker and took me to the port. And what I was going to do was to, for those that don't know how to do it, I was going to show how to put the little you can see them, the little the little nipples as they're called how, how to put those in and how I took everything apart and I sprayed some some stuff on it here lubricated it up you can see it and I kind of adjusted the lights a little bit around so we're going I'm going to put them in here for you. Just these little, you can see them. There's three. Can't zoom in. I got it on a tripod. Those little things there. And I'm going to stick them down in some holes in there. Yeah. I just took these out so I can. I just took three out so I can show how to, how to put them in replace them and you'll probably have to have the have some uh, needle nose here to uh, then tighten them up and get a little flat edge on it okay but you can start out by just putting them in just real gently just uh, putting them in there and you got the best light in the world and I've sprayed everything and wiped it down pretty good. And just, just get them started. Yeah. Let me show how to put it together. I can get her to go in here. Okay. That one. In there. This one right here seems to be in there. You can see it. That one. Now yeah, I've got another one here. I, I just only took just three out just so I can show. And it's got one thread on. It's got a little thread on one here, a little flat side. Little threads, little nipples. Yeah. So I'm just putting them in there. Now I'm just checking them to make sure they're not rusted or anything. they all in good shape. That one there, I got it. Finger, finger started on that one, so that one's good. I don't know if you can see it turning. Right down one more. Just put her in there and give her a little, little finicky. Just about got to have monkey fingers, but I ain't got no monkey fingers, but just enough to get her in there and get her started. Yeah. I I think that was in there. Yeah. And just put them in there and give them a little, a little turn. Yeah. Okay, that one's in there. Now I just take the uh, needle nose and just turn them and they don't feel, they're not cross threaded, so just turn them and just get them in there. Just take some little pliers and just get in there too. There ain't but three. Yeah. And this and the needle nose just fits. Just enough room to fit. Okay. Just turn until they get tight. Yeah. That one's tight. Okay. Let's see here. Get this one. Right here. Just needle nose it in there. It ain't. It's got little bit of threads. So, uh, ain't nothing cross threaded. One of these days, I'm going to take this thing out and yeah, uh, get the 
powder and stuff and why don't you shoot at a target with this. Now we go to the next one. Put it in there. Yeah. Just put her in there. Yeah, yeah. I can hold her up there. I'm in kind of a cramped little spot here. In my little area. Cameras. I wanted to touch the camera on knock it over. Yeah, you just on the bipod. Uh, okay. Almost tight. You have to be careful with certain parts. Okay, that's in there. Double check it again. Okay, that's tight. Yeah. Just check them good. Yeah. Okay, that's in there. Now then, what we do now here, is we take and we put it on, on this part here. All this has already been lubricated. And just take it, the cylinder, slide it down on there. Slide it on there. And you have, you have to, uh, you have to cock it back and it will go on there. Now, there's no powder or anything there about anything. No explosions are going to happen right now. Okay. If I can remember right now. So here you put the barrel. And you take, take the barrel here. And slide it onto this little action right here. Right down in there. It's a little... Little grooves down in there, you can see somehow. And you slide it, and see there, and you just slide it on. Give it, give it just a little tap, and it's on there. And you come up with this little part here. This is the part that's the ram that seats the bullet since it's a uh, black powder. It's the ram. Very simple. And down in, yeah, if you can see it, there's a little groove right here. You just put, uh, put this end right here down into a little groove there. You're turned around here and you just line it up with the hole. There's a little hole. See there. See, I just slide it down. There's a hole right here. It's a little hole and you got a little screw that you bolt down in there, but you have to get her get her straight, boys. You just take this part right here and it goes up in two. There's a little hole, a little threaded hole. You line it up, get her pretty straight. Take this little screw here, that one, a little screw, two screws, and put it down in there. Take that little screw and put it down in there. If I can see it, just put it down into that little hole right there, and screw it in. And I just got, got a little screwdriver just to get her in there, and I'll use some other screwdriver to tighten her up just put her in there like that okay see here and then the action goes up see here it my turns just fine it's got one more little part to put in there and that's in here is the little wedge Going there is just a little piece here, a little square piece. And on the other side, it has to lock. It's got kind of a little lock tab on the end of it. You push it through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Push 
it down and just about where you can tap it right there and you tap it through just tap it okay and then you have this last this very last screw, little tiny one little bitty one, little tiny one and that goes up in there up in there to hold it to hold that uh, that little block lock and block whatever it is this thing that sticks out uh, uh, this block there that square block that's sticking out okay a little screwdriver put it on there a good magnet screwdriver would be handy haven't got one so we'll try to do this without knocking the camera over and everything see how I do it just screw that in there like that and it's in there and it's all back together see works just fine that little block there give it just a little tap and if you get this if you get that too tight or the trigger can't be pulled and there it is I just got through changing the the little nipples on the Colt 18 47 Walker this is free and I thank y'all for watching thanks and uh, just share yeah I, I share that little bit of information with you about how to put the little firing nipples I guess that's what you call them the primers go on the on the top but that's it right there and it's my, uh, See, the hammer doesn't stick. Yep, see? Doesn't stick. Yep, I don't want to dry fire them up on those nipples. It might damage them. But you put your little, uh, your little primer caps, little percussion caps, think number 10s or number 11s go on there. And, and you should be ready to go and get your powder. Uh, little round bones and probably some little felt felt things to kind of seal it up whenever that you push that lever down to uh, load your black powder and everything the little wad and everything yeah there it is and it's all has the new nipples back in it and, and thanks and thanks Thanks for watching. I got it all back together. Thanks for watching. And this is free. Y'all have a good day. Have a safe day.